disclaimer. I am not a spokesperson for the USPS, nor do I speak on their behalf. I am a active employee who works as a clerk. I have this channel based on educational purposes only. What is up YouTube? It's your girl Creole Barbie here with USPS Vlogs. If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Creole Barbie. Don't forget to like, comment below, and subscribe to my channel for future uploads as well as seeing past content where I speak on life at the USPS as an active employee who works at a plant as a clerk. You guys, I'm going to get right into this video because as you guys may not know, I did just recently share a short stating why you shouldn't be comfortable when working at the USPS especially when you have visitors from out of state visiting your facility. I'm gonna get more into this video because there's definitely 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 some important information to keep you guys with your head as my bro Nick says on a swivel. At all times your head should definitely stay on the swivel when it comes to the things that I'm gonna tell you guys in this video. So let's get into it. Now, just recently, for the past, I want to say almost two months now, I've noticed that we had a lot of people coming into my facility that was from out of state. I'm not going to name the area that they're from because, you know, I'm on YouTube land and people be watching. They came from out of state to my facility and they were told that my facility happened to be in the red. Now, when you guys see upper management coming to your facility, checking around, looking out for certain things, that's your time to do what you have to do. Meaning when you get comfortable with your routine, such as having your phone, listening to music, chilling, having that extra downtime, that's not the time. You have to make sure that you look busy because when you do things like that all it's doing is making it harder for each and every other individual that has to experience the same exact thing when i tell you guys they are looking they are looking a lot of people feel like when they come in they're just looking at management and how management is handling us as workers and how we're getting the mail out they're looking to see what we're doing and how come we're not getting the mail out within a timely manner why is it so much delayed mail at that facility how come especially in letter automation let's lose letter automation for an example because that's what i do how come dispatches are not getting out in a timely manner those are some things to really keep in mind so what you want to do is be sure to be on your a game you want to make sure that it's like they have no reason to even look at you and yes they're going to be looking literally I see them hiding behind APCs, peeking over there, standing in the corner, peeking at you and what you got going on. But one of the changes that I noticed once prior to the visitors coming upon our facility is the fact that they were gun ho about cell phones. They didn't understand exactly why our location allowed us to have cell phones on the workroom floor. They stated that their facility has a zero cell phone tolerance and that cell phones must be locked away in the lockers. Another thing that I've noticed is that when they express about the cell phones and how much of a distraction they feel like it is on our workroom floor at our facility our supervisors then passed around a paper stating the cell phone policy and that we had to sign off on so anytime you have to sign off on something when it comes to a notification such as this is a cell phone policy in case you may not know go ahead and sign here the reason why they do that is because now if you didn't know now you know so you're being notified that is a paper trail so the next time you get caught doing anything with that cell phone what will happen is that they now have the right to put you in an office for failure to follow for disciplinary actions. A lot of people tell me when they have that situation going on, they don't sign the paper whatsoever. <laughs> now, they say that, but when I actually looked at the paper to sign, I'm not going to lie, I saw nothing but signatures. So I'm looking to see where you didn't sign it because I literally saw nothing but signatures. So... That's something that you guys need to keep in mind. They also put in effect with the cell phone policy about the Bluetooth policy with the cell phone policy stating that we were allowed to have Bluetooth on the workroom floor, even though 
a lot of us are motivated by being able to listen to audiobooks, music, podcasts, whatever the case may be. That's something that was implemented on our tour. So then after discussions with the union and with management on my tour, they then came to a decision where we were able to have cell phones. However, we cannot pull them out in our leisure to watch movies and stuff like that because some people were just bold about it. So cell phone policies, that's something that you guys really want to be on the lookout for, especially when you see visitors in the building. I'm not going to talk too much on cell phone policies because I gave you guys a list of examples on what could happen and what the situation is with cell phones. Now, I will say this change that happened at my facility is our tour times. I'm not going to get too much into the tour time because that prompts me to my next video. But I will tell you this when they came. I noticed that we had a change in tour times. So I guess what they're trying to do is basically see if they change our tour times, would that work for us? Would that help us be able to get the mail out within a reasonable time frame? Also, now thinking about it, not only that it might help us get the mail out in a reasonable time frame, which in my honest opinion, I just feel like we just don't have the manpower. I really don't feel like that's one thing like management have to understand. And that's something that I feel like this is something that they did not notice is the fact that when you walk into a facility and you see people that's working by themselves on a machine and automation, that's a red flag that they don't have the manpower. Not that people are just not getting the mail out. We don't have any manpower. You should not be allowed to run 75, 80,000 pieces of mail on a machine by yourself. And I feel the same way if it's 30,000 pieces. Those machines require two people. That's something that I feel like they really need to go in and really think about. But I do feel like that's the reason why they have this tour time change. All right. Again, there's something that I have to discuss about my tour time but i really can't talk about it in this video because it goes along with something that's very important so if you guys need to watch my next video after this video where i talk to you guys about how job abolishments could affect you because this is something that this paper right here actually will go more in, in depth of what i'm saying so Two things. We had a cell phone policy change where we couldn't have our cell phones out. We had rules to implement our cell phones as well as Bluetooth. And then while they're here, our tour time changes. Okay. Another thing that I did notice when they are there, there were talks about one of the individuals becoming our plant manager so you see what i'm saying you guys they're shifting management around so this is important when you guys see these people in a the facility they're just not visitors they're actually there to see exactly how this facility is being ran and if you don't want major changes to your routine I suggest that you make sure that you pay plenty of attention to what's going on around you and to be sure to do what you have to do as a team because it's a team effort. It's no I in team. All of us is involved and all of us can be affected by it. One shape or another, all of us can be affected by it. And all it takes is a couple people or a few people to ruin it for the rest of us. So with that being said, you guys, I hope this video helps you by keeping your eyes open, paying attention when you see these visitors in your facility. Just know changes are coming. It's very important. So I'm going to end this video on this note. Also, like I said, with the paper that I just showed you, I'm going to go more in depth 
on that video as well to why I received that paper and how job abolishments can affect you and not only just the individuals on the Pacific tour or how tour abolishments can affect you but not just only a certain tour that's been affected but how it can be a domino effect to other tours so stay tuned for that video you guys in the meantime be sure to subscribe to my channel if you hadn't done so already click that bell notification because you don't want to miss out on these videos your girl will be dropping consistent content back to back this week be sure to comment below if you guys had any changes at your facility when visitors have arrived thank you for watching y'all be safe y'all be blessed and i will see y'all on the wayside deuces